Okay, he has um, 10 newspapers where these Jews are pushing this 6 million figure between the years of 1915 and 1938. The first newspaper is The Sun of New York. New York, June the 6th, 1915. That is The Sun. It's the first page of the fifth section that I want. And there we go. The sun. It's a bit ripped. Along there it's all come off a bit. The fifth section. This is the front page. And the article is called Horrors Worse Than Kishinev Charged Against Russia Today. And there's the big article. Take us up most of the page. So go in, yeah. Go. Since the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem, the Jewish people have had no darker page in their history than that which the Russian government is writing today. Six million Jews, one half of the Jewish people throughout the world, are being persecuted, hounded, humiliated tortured, starved. Thousands of them have been slaughtered. Hundreds of thousands of Jews, old men, women and children, are being driven mercilessly from town to town. There it is, people. Six million Jews. One half of the Jewish people throughout the world are being persecuted, hounded, humiliated, tortured and starved. As I go along here, support here as well. Dear brethren, have mercy on the six million Jews in Russia and take our part. Once again, six million Jews in Russia. Six million. This is in an article entitled Horrors Worse Than Kishinev Charged Against Russia Today. That's in the sun of New York, Sunday, June the 6th, 1915. This is 18 years before Hitler ever set foot in the government. 18 years. This is the next newspaper. This is the New York Times again. It's from 1918. There it is, the New York Times. October the 18th, 1918. It's page 12 that I want. There we go. Page 12. Page 12. The New York Times. October the 18th, 1918. And the article isn't called one billion dollar fund to rebuild Jewry. There it is. Six million souls will need help to resume normal life when war is ended. Six million souls. As I go down the article here, there's again, six million Jews need help. Six million. Six million Jews need help. That is in an article called One Billion Dollar Fund to Rebuild Jewry. That is in the New York Times, October the 18th, 1918. Here's the next newspaper. This is New York Times again. The New York Times. September the 8th, 1919. It's page 6 that I want. There we go. Page 6. 
page 6. The New York Times, September the 8th, 1919. And the article is called Ukrainian Jews Aim to Stop Pogroms. Mass meeting he has that 127,000 Jews have been killed and 6 million are in peril. 6 million. As I go down the article, there it is. We come out now before the world with a determined slogan, those pogroms must stop, said the President in his annual message. It is only a question of holding these facts continually before the civilised world. We must not permit the world to slumber. This fact that the population of six million souls in Ukraine and in Poland have received notice through action and by word that they are going to be completely exterminated. You literally cannot make this up. Six million souls completely exterminated. Six million. That is an article called Ukrainian Jews Aim to Stop Pogroms in the New York Times, September the 8th, 1919. It's 13 and a half year before Hitler came to power. This is the next newspaper. This is the New York Times again. The New York Times. The date. November the 12th, 1919. It's page 7 that I want on here. There you go. Page 7 in the New York Times, November the 12th, 1919. The article is called Tell Sad Plight of Jews. Felix M. Warburg says they were the worst sufferers in the war. There it is here. The successive blows of contending armies have all but broken the back of European Jewry, he said and have reduced to tragically unbelievable poverty, starvation and disease. About six million souls, or half the Jewish population of the earth. Six million. Six million souls, or half the Jewish population of the earth. I'll go further down the article so you can read the rest of it. There is again, people, unbelievable poverty, starvation and disease. About six million souls, or half the Jewish population of the earth. In an article entitled, Tell Sad Plight of Jews. In the New York Times, November the 12th, 1919. This is the next newspaper. It's the Atlanta Constitution from 1920. February 23rd, 1920. The article is on the front page here. It's called $50,000 Raised in City to Save Suffering Jews. And it goes along the bottom. Continued on page 3, column 4. So I'll go to page 3. There we go. Constitution of Atlanta, February 23rd, 1920. There it is. $50,000 raised to save suffering Jews. Continued from first page. 
I'll go down. He called upon the Atlanta Jews to arise to the occasion and to contribute to the emergency fund in order that the lives of six millions of Jewish people may be saved. Six millions of Jewish people may be saved. I'll go further down. Rabbi Mark speaks. Rabbi Marx made an eloquent plea for generous responses to the call of the representatives of the Jewish Relief Fund. He drew a graphic picture of the starvation and suffering of the six million Jews who live in Eastern Europe and Palestine. Six million Jews. Thousands upon thousands of our people have died of starvation and pestilence, and thousands more will die, he said. There it is, people. Six million Jews. In an article entitled $50,000 Ways to Save Suffering Jews in the Constitution of Atlanta, February 23rd, 1920. This is the next newspaper. This is the New York Times. This is from 1920. There we go. The New York Times. The date, Friday, May the 7th, 1920. It's page 11 that I want. There we go. Page 11. page 11. And the article is called The Jewish War Aid Gets $100,000 Gift. There it is. The Fund for Jewish War Sufferers in Central and Eastern Europe, where six millions face horrifying conditions of famine, disease and death, was enriched yesterday by a contribution of $100,000 from Nathan Strauss where six millions face horrifying conditions of famine, disease and death. Six millions face horrifying conditions of famine, disease and death. I'll just go down the rest of the article if anybody wants to read it. There's an article called Jewish War Aid Gets $100,000 Gift in the New York Times, Friday, May the 7th, 1920. Here's the New York Times again. This is 1921. New York Times, Wednesday, July the 20th, 1921. It's page two that I want. There we go, page two. Page two. New York Times. July 20th, 1921. And the article is called Begs America, Save Six Million in Russia. Massacre threatens all Jews as Soviet power wanes, declares Krainin, coming here for aid. Look at that. Russia's six million Jews are facing extermination by massacre. As the famine is spreading, the counter-revolutionary movement is gaining and the Soviet's control is waning. Now this is one of the biggest articles of the lot. This is 1921, 12 years before Adolf Hitler ever set foot in the government. Look at that. Russia's 
six million Jews are facing extermination by massacre. As an article entitled, Begs America Save Six Million in Russia, on page two, in the New York Times, Wednesday, July 20th, 1921. This is the Gazette of Montreal. This is 1931. The Gazette, Montreal, Tuesday, December the 29th, 1931. This is over a year before Hitler came to power. The Gazette, it's page six that I want. There we go. Page six. Page six. The Gazette, Montreal, December the 29th, 1931. And the article pretty much speaks up for itself. Six million Jews face starvation. Six million. Bad conditions in southeastern Europe, reported by Rabbi Wise. Fears crisis at hand. Six million Jews in eastern Europe face starvation. And even worse, during the coming winter. Six million Jews. I'll get I'll give you a look at the rest of the article. The article is called Six Million Jews Face Starvation. The Gazette of Montreal. December the 29th, 1931, one and a half year before Adolf Hitler ever set foot in the government. This is the next newspaper. This is the New York Times again. There we go. New York Times. But this is dated 1936, Sunday, May the 31st, 1936. This does not say the six million Jews, but it does say Holocaust. New York Times. It's page 14 that I want. Have a go. Page 14. The New York Times, May the 31st, 1936. And the article is called, Americans Appeal for Jewish Refuge. It's quite a big article. But it's along here. Yeah. The petition in expressing the opinion of enlightened Christian leadership in the United States favour on a larger Jewish immigration into Palestine, stressed the intolerable sufferings of the millions of Jews in the European Holocaust. The European Holocaust in 1936, before the Second World War even started. You go up here. There it is again. Great Britain has it within her power to throw open the gates of Palestine and let in the victimised and persecuted Jews escaping from the European Holocaust. The European Holocaust in 1936, three and a half year before the Second World War ever even started. That's in an article entitled, Americans Appeal for Jewish Refuge. The New York Times, May the 31st, 1936. Here's the next newspaper. This is New York Times again. New York Times. This is dated February the 23rd, 
1938. This is before the Second World War started. Bodie Enhoff. The New York Times. It's page 23 that I want. There you go. Page 23, the New York Times, February 23rd, 1938. And the article is called, Jewish Teachers Chided by Isaacs. I'll go along the bottom. And it's a Jewish tragedy pictured. A depressing picture of six million Jews in Central Europe deprived of protection or economical opportunities, slowly dying of starvation, all hope gone, was presented to the teachers by Jacob Tarsus. The Jewish tragedy started when Hitler came into power in 1933. There it is again, people. Six million Jews in Central Europe, slowly dying of starvation, six million, this is in 1938. Jewish teachers chided by Isaacs, New York Times, February 23rd, 1938, a year and a half before the Second World War even started.